cruise ship is headed back to Galveston, Texas, after Mexico refused to allow it to stop in Cozumel. One of the passengers aboard the Carnival Magic is a health care worker who handled a lab specimen from Ebola victim Thomas Eric Duncan 19 days ago. Health officials say the woman has no symptoms and poses no risk, but she is quarantined on the ship. Our chief medical correspondent, Dr. John LaPook, is joining us right now from Washington. And John, I spoke to some hospital administrators today who said that if they had a critically ill Ebola patient, they might withhold heroic life-saving measures in order to protect their own staff. Right. Well, remember, Mr. Duncan got a full court press in Dallas where at the end he had dialysis, he had a breathing tube inserted. And this is, these are procedures where there's ample opportunity for infection of health care workers. So biomedical ethicists are now thinking, what price glory? I mean, how much do you do? Do you do dialysis? They're having discussions about do not resuscitate and end of life issues. And John, you told me earlier today you have some concern about the quality and the quantity of information that's been coming out of the Dallas hospital. Right. You know, everybody makes mistakes, and certainly mistakes have happened here. But there's a tradition in medicine when mistakes are made in hospitals, there's a conference that's held. No finger pointing allowed, and everybody says exactly what went wrong so that people can avoid doing the same mistakes in the future. Now, I don't see that kind of utter transparency here. I'm a physician. I have not received nitty-gritty details about what's happened with specific patients, those who did well and those who haven't done well. And I think we need to see that in the future. We need to address patient uh, privacy issues, perhaps. But here's the bottom line. Unless there's utter uh, transparency, doctors around the world are not going to be able to know how best to diagnose and treat Ebola. Dr. John LaPook in Washington tonight. John, thanks.